I told you we should have owned cowboy boots. No, it should have been a white tank top, skinny jeans. Because I live my life a quarter mile at a time. This is a 69 Ford Trailer in Torino. Let's roll the intro. Okay, so this car came out in 1969. That's 55 years ago. Fun fact, that wasn't even a sperm back then. And back then, chrome was a statement. So you get a chrome bumper, you get a chrome grille, and the front, it does look quite beautiful. So this vehicle does not get airbags, but you do get massive hood, which is longer than any of our relationships. So in the event of a crash, you don't need to worry. Now at the side you get 15 inch chrome alloys, yes it's chrome, surprise there. And this car is a coupe which is a two-door car and you also get a three-year two badge here on the side. At the back you do get a fell end badge over here, you get a massive chrome bumper and quite nice real tail lights. Despite this car being 55 years old, well it... that's both our ages combined. Yeah. 22 and 23. Yeah, damn. damn. So despite that, I think that this car looks absolutely amazing, especially in this paint, it is a bluish black in a way. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, it is quite nice and in, when you look at certain, from certain sides of the vehicle with the sun, it just look blue, it just look black and it's quite, it's quite nice. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed. Indeed, 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 indeed. Let's talk about the engine, shall we? Yeah. There's so much space here. Damn, that's really cool. So, this car gets a 4.9 litre V8, well let's... Let's say it's five. It gets 220 horsepower and 380 meters of torque. That's not a lot, is it? You know what else isn't a lot? This vehicle drives with a three-speed automatic gearbox. Here, there, and gone. And it does sound amazing. I mean, listen to this. <laughs> hold it, hold it, hold it. Let's talk about the interior, shall we? Okay, here on the inside. Oof, it's a bit hard to get into. That's a loud door slam. This is very different to everything we've had on the channel because, well, this is a 55 year old car. You do get a beautiful blue interior and the steering wheel, it's thinner than the ice cream skate on. You do get a blue roof as well, interior wise. Very different and I quite like it. So this way it does get Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Nah, nah, just kidding. You know what else this car doesn't get? Headrest. But you know what it does get? Back seats. Ooh. Oh, this is so comfortable. Okay, so there's enough headspace. There's a little bit of a leg space problem, but these seats are comfortable. And something very, very classic. A roll up window. <laughs> Quite cool. Okay, let's go for a drive in the 69 Ford Torino. Now, this is a left hand drive car, which is a bit weird given that. Most of the cars we've driven, well, all of the cars that I've driven are right-hand drive cars. And this is a muscle car, but it feels like a luxury car because it's so comfortable in here. Now, you might think this car doesn't have power steering, but it does, so it's very, very easy to steer. And the braking. The braking is a bit weird because you kind of have to slam it for it to work. And that's something I have to be very, very careful about when I'm driving this car. And this car gets, what, 200 horsepower, 220? But it doesn't feel underpowered at all. You might think, yes, an older American car, it's gonna be heavy. It doesn't feel like it, literally doesn't feel like it. And driving this is quite enjoyable, I have to say. This has been very well taken care of. You can, you can just tell when you're driving the car that the owner has put in a lot of time and effort into building this to be what it is today. And, oh, uh, I forgot. I still don't know which side the steering, sorry, the indicator is on. The left hand side. Yep, so left hand side. There you go. So the, <laughs> the indicators are on the left hand side. They're very classic in that way. And how we're all driving. It's an amazing car. Literally. Surprised me. Doesn't feel heavy at all. Very, very comfortable. And that's where we'll leave it. Final thoughts on the 69 Torino. <laughs> For an old car. Of its generation i would have to give it a nine because they don't make cars like this it's very comfortable inside like yeah. driving like there's a lot of things that is 
when you compare it to the modern age, there's a lot of things that could be faulted, but for its age, it's nine. It's beautiful. It just drives nicely. Yeah. What do you think, Derek? Yeah, I would have to give it. Uh, I would say nine is reasonable because yeah. it's so luxurious. Yeah. Looks. Looks aren't my favorite because that's not the style I'm going for. I like exactly. newer European cars, but the yeah. way it drives, fantastic. Comfortable as hell. It's like going to your grandma's house and sitting on that old sofa that's in the living room. Yeah. That's exactly how it feels. And the way it's been taken care of by the owner, it is stunning. For a 55 year old car, we'd have yeah. to say a 9 in this condition. It drives amazing. 200 horsepower, but doesn't feel like it. So yeah, 9, that's where I will leave it. Yeah, and that's it. Just like and subscribe. Yeah, see you. See ya. On the next one.